Okay, so in this problem, what we're going to do is find the surface area of the cone. So what I began with is uh, we drew a picture of a cone. Uh, in this case, the height is 9 units, and the base, or rather the radius of the base, is going to be 2 units. Um, the surface area formula is given to us as the following. Now just real quick, there's two terms to this surface area. This first term, pi r square root of r squared plus h squared, this first term corresponds to the area that you would compute if you were just looking at the side of the cone. So let's label that side. Whereas the second term is going to be pi r squared. Now pi r squared is the area formula for a circle of radius r. And in this case, that corresponds to the base. The base of this cone is certainly a circle of radius 2, so we're going to call this the base. So in this case, what we're going to do is just evaluate. So the keyword here is to evaluate where r is equal to 2, r for radius, and h is equal to 9 for height. So what we're going to do is say surface area is equal to pi times 2 square root of r squared being 2 squared plus h squared which is 9 squared plus the second term is pi times uh, r squared so it's 2 squared. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean this up a little bit. We're going to write this as 2 pi square root of 2 squared is 4 9 squared is 81 plus the second term uh, 2 squared is 4 times pi we're going to write it as 4 pi. Okay, so what we have is 2 pi times the square root of 85 plus 4 pi. In this problem, what we're also going to do is roughly approximate pi to be 3.14. So in that case, what we're going to do is just substitute 3.14 instead of pi, so we have the following. At this point, we really can't do anything other than to use the calculator to approximate square root of 85 because we don't have any techniques currently that allow us to figure this out uh, the, unless we use technology. Now, one thing we do know is that square root of 85 is going to be 9 point something because 85 is between 81 and 100 being uh, 81 is 9 squared, 100 is 10 squared, and 85 is between 81 and 100. So this is going to be 9 point something. So we're going to use the calculator. Now after punching this into the calculator, I found that it's going to be equal to, or roughly equal to, 9.2195. We're going to copy down the other terms. And so what follows is really just to multiply through. We got 2 times 3.14 times 9.2195. We could do this by hand, or we could, in this case, in the interest of um, efficiency, well, let's say we were to punch this into a calculator, we find out that this is equal to 57.8987 plus 4 times 3.14, we find it's 12.56. So in this case, when we add these two terms together, we're going to get 70.4589. Now this problem asks us to round to two digits. So in this case, we're going to look at the 5. 70.48 is larger than 5, so we're going to round 5 up to 6. So our answer is going to be 70.46. Now the original problem in this case, it wasn't given to us as generic units. Instead of just 9 and 2, it was given to us as 9 yards and two yards. So what that means is that the lengths, the dimensions of the cone is in terms of yards and so the surface area, first of all it's an area so what that means is a two-dimensional unit It's certainly going to be yards squared and so that is our answer.